All right, everyone, outside with the 1988 Mastercraft Pro Star 190. This thing just came in on trade and is in incredible condition. Um, everything on the boat, from what I can tell, um, it's all original as far as um, the interior and accessories on the dash, so on and so forth. Um, just a meticulously well kept boat. Um, came in the shop, showroom ready, and is about as nice of a boat um, as you're gonna see in that, you know, coming up on 30 year old boats and um, that'd be available in the market. So, this thing probably will not last long whenever I get this thing posted online. So, uh, as you can see, sitting with the red main stripe and like a cream colored hole bottom and interior deck. Trying to hide from the wind today, so hopefully I'm speaking loud enough to where you guys can hear me. Um, if I get any wind crackling here, but um, unfortunately there's not much I can do. Um, with all this weather we've had this year, it's just been windy like crazy. Sitting on a single axle Mastercraft factory trailer with fiberglass step pads or step plates, um, spare tire as well. This thing was kept on a private lake on a lift, um, maintained over there. I believe it's out of, it was out of Dayton, Ohio. Um, everything from the trailer to the gel, the decals and graphics are just in amazing shape. Um, this side is almost perfect on our uh, port side here. Really the only thing I can point out on here, you might see, uh, I don't know if you can see on the video here, but if we get lower to this graphic, or I'm sorry, the uh, pinstriping, it might, it starts to fade just a, a hair, like enough to where you can barely even see it. Um, you bring it from up here and drop it down. It's just a very, very slight fade just above that, uh, um, that stripe. Pinstriping is all in good shape. Get a little bit of a nick there on the corner. Um, obviously, we got the teak platform on here. Things in good shape, not beat up. Color looks good. And then this fading only really wraps around from this corner underneath and onto the other corner. You don't see it anywhere else on the boat. Look at that. The graphics are perfect. We jump on up to the front here. This is really the only major thing. You got a little nick out of the corner and one nick right there on the Mastercraft logo. Trailer's looking good. It's just a uh, C-frame trailer, all original. It's a little bit worn out on the front, but it's covering on the top surface. Getting a gust of wind here uh, up on the nose. A little bit of a uh, nick on the uh, pinstriping there as well. Vents have a little bit of fading on, on uh, the paint there. But the gel is in great shape, as you can see. Really nice on the exterior. Let's hop inside. Um, the wind is really picking up on me here. I'm gonna try and cover the microphone. Um, let's see. So on the interior, same color scheme as on the outside. Obviously, red carpet. Uh, all the vinyl and the carpet's original. It's all in good shape. Um, the back seat is a little wrinkled up, but you'll see that in a second. Let me hop inside. All original instrumentation on the dash. Now let's take a look at this seat here. You can see the vinyl, it's got some wrinkles in it. So that's just a seat cushion in the back, seat base. Um, there's no storage or anything underneath. You can see, get closer to it. A little wrinkled up, no big deal. Um, 
it's still got plenty of life left in it. I mean, it's not it's not stiff and dry. It's it's still flexible. Seat back's in good shape. Um, we are sitting with a four speaker stereo. Um, it's AM, FM, and tape cassettes. I think the head unit is original, which is crazy. Um, these rails are painted on the inside of, on the gunnels here. So there's a couple little chips in them from here um, on either side. Bring that over here. Let's see, just a few paint chips. Nothing, nothing huge. Gunnel pads are good. Engine cover is in great shape. Um, that underneath, we'll pop this open, is a uh, Ford 351 by Enmar with 843 hours on it. So, we didn't doll this up or anything. Look at these valve covers. Just polished chrome. Super clean. If that says anything about how this thing was maintained, just looks pristine. So, things in great shape. We've done a service on it. it runs awesome. Uh, again, 843 hours on that. So we'll bring that back down here. Only thing on the cover. One small nick right here in the vinyl. Very small. Same thing with that right there. That's all I saw on that. So, nothing major. Again, all this original vinyl is it's very impressive that, it, that it's, it's made it this long and looks the way it does as it's sitting here right now. Love seats looking good. Uh, we got a small split right there in the seam. It's not completely pulled apart, but it's starting to. We flip the seat back up. You'll see our storage area underneath. So we got some life jackets up there, the boat cover. That runs all the way up to the bow. Plenty of storage space up there for jackets and things. Um, can't really get to that. Underneath there is the battery. It's talking about all original, if I can get this to open one-handed, it'd be impressive. There we go, don't wanna break it. it. Is the original head unit for the stereo. So it's Pioneer, said AM, FM, and tape cassette, which is pretty cool. Don't see that very often. Um, dash mounted mirror, right there. You have a 12 volt outlet there. A little glove box, if you will, cup holder. Driver's seat's in great shape as well. Check that thing out. Looking pretty good. And then back to the dash here. All original instrumentation. So there's your hours, 843. Um, voltage, fuel, twin speedos, tack, oil pressure. On the right, you got your blower, bilge pump, lights, etc. Um, the boat seats eight. And I can't say enough, it's it's an amazing shape. So come check it out, it'll be gone quick. Give us a call if you have any questions or want to set up a test drive with it. Um, reach out 317-845-9253 and thanks for watching.